Okay, so this quilt is actually one that this fabric was all bought recently because I had a plan for our wedding that I thought was going to go for, and then I've changed my plans for my wedding favors. So this fabric got pushed to the wayside, but it's a yard, so it's perfect for three yard quilts. So we're going to be heading into the easy peasy three yard quilts. And for this one, I'm going to do this town square one. So I've got the blue that's going to be my focal fabric and then my green and white that are going to be my background fabric. So for my focal fabric, if you didn't know, my fiance is a golfer. And so I bought this because I was thinking about making the ice cream cozies for our wedding favors with this as one of the options, because if he's a golfer, obviously a lot of his groomsmen are going to be golfers. A lot of his family is going to be golfers. So I was like, well, cool. This will be a cute ice cream cozy. But I think I've scratched that idea because I don't feel like sewing 100 ice cream cozies right now. And we're just going in a different direction because things keep changing. So golf fabric. So it's when I look at it, these are actually like navy blue instead of black. And so I went ahead and just got two conas to go with it. A blue that was really close to the blue on the prayers and a good gray just to kind of accent it a little bit. So looking at this again, the golf is going to be where the blue is and then the green, I believe, is going to be the navy blue. And then the gray is going to be where the white is, just to kind of be an accent. And I think it's going to turn out really good. Mostly, I want to use a certain pantograph I've bought um, back at Christmas time because I thought about doing golf tees on my fiance's uh, Christmas stocking. But I changed my mind then, and I just really have this pantograph. And I'm getting ahead of myself again for the next video. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to start cutting these up and see how the town square comes together. So with the way that this one cut out, I feel like it's going to be pretty straightforward. I've got my center squares and then the little skinny border, another border. Um, my binding, I was able to get two and a half inches because um, I had that extra quarter of a yard. And then I've got my units to do my other shirt piecing to be the outside blocks. So I'm going to take a look at the pattern, see what comes first and get to stitching.
So here's a look at the big block, and I really like that this block is nice and big. So what I need to do now is just trim up my edges and make sure everything's all square, figure out what their measurements are, but then I think this is going to go together really quickly because these are just going to line up next to each other, no sashing, nothing, and then it's going to be putting on the borders, and then it's going to be time to reveal it. So let's hope for the best and get these big blocks turned into a quilt top. And here is the result of the town square quilt from the easy peasy three yard quilts. And I quite like how it turned out. I like how the strip piecing kind of came together to make these kind of blocks sitting on a block shadows. And um, the more I looked at this fabric here and looked at the print on it, I think it might actually be dark green and not blue. But I think the blue works really well. Just having it as a dark green uh, gives me more options for my backing. So I've got the dark blue is what's going to be the binding, as a reminder, but I think these little skinny borders are pretty cute. I've got my little golf carts doing laps around the quilts and with my border, so um, I think it turned out really fun, and it's a good kind of neutral quilt with a little pop of color on there. The green's a little bright, but I think it's fun. I know my fiance is pretty excited to see this one because he's a golfer himself, so um, in the meantime, we'll give you a up-close look and... Then we'll come back next time to quilt it 
and figure out what we're going to do for that. So we'll see you next time.